Amr al Gaddafi, the Green Book, Part 1. The solution of the problem of democracy, the authority of the people. Popular Congresses and People's Committees. Popular Congresses are the only means to achieve popular democracy. Any system of government other than Popular Congresses is undemocratic. All the prevailing systems of government in the world today are undemocratic unless they adopt this method. Popular Congresses are the end of the journey of the masses movement in its quest for democracy. Welcome ladies and gentlemen and this is the news from Jamahiriya Satellite Channel with me, Suleiman Yusuf. The leader of the revolution, Muammar Gaddafi, has met in Tripoli with the South African President Jacob Zuma, member of the African Presidential High Level Committee assigned by the African Union regarding Libyan issues. During the meeting, which was also attended by the Secretary of the General People's Committee, Baghdad al Mahmoudi, and the Secretary of the General People's Committee for Foreign Liaison and International Cooperation, the Libyan side affirmed that the UN Security Council's resolutions were issued based on the precise and true confirmed information as required by the UN Charter. Also, the Libyan side disclosed the, the violations committed by NATO, NATO aggression and their intentional attempts to commit political assassination as well as destroying Libyan infrastructure airports and seaports, including sanctions on sea, which prevented the entering of essential communities for the Libyan people, confirming the importance of reviewing the UN Security Resolutions number 1970 and 1973, which were completely violated by NATO and its allies, including arming, providing weapons and military logical support to the traitors. Meanwhile, the Libyan side called on the African countries which are members in the UN Security Council to call for a session of reviewing the mechanism which implemented the UN resolutions on Libya and NATO violations to these resolutions. President Jacob Zuma of South Africa, member of the African Presidential High Level Committee formed by the African Union on Libya issues, sorry, for the Lib Libyan issues, has left uh, Great Jamahiriya at Maitiga International Airport during his departure. He was seen off by Baghdad El Mahmoudi, Secretary of the General People's Committee, and other senior officials. President Zuma addressed to the media during his departure and briefed on the visit. We had a quite a detailed discussion with the British brother leader. Of course, uh, presenting uh, further what the AU position is, as you know. The AU is one that the must be discussions among Libyans to find a peaceful solution to the problem. 
بين الليبيين لاجل ايجاد حل للازمه التي تمر بها ليبيا. Of course, we call that brother leader when we came here as a committee had accepted. والجميع يعلم تدركون أن الأخ القائد آخر مرة كنا فيها هنا ضمن أعضاء اللجنة في الشهر الأخير الماضي فقد قبلت ليبيا مبادرة الاتحاد الأفريقي خارطة الطريق. But you also know of course that the rebels from Benghazi did not accept it. They put conditions. The Muslims in Benghazi did not accept this proposal and put rules in place. Of course, brother, it is still repeated its position today. That is ready to implement the decision of the AU. There must be a ceasefire, which is unconditional. أكد الخلفاء اليوم أن على أهمية ضرورة أن يكون هناك وقف إطلاق النار حسب ما دعت إليه مبادرة الاتحاد الأفريقي. View is that that must include bombing by NATO must also come. وأن تفسير وقف إطلاق النار يشمل أيضا القصف الذي تقوم به. That must be a ceasefire that affects everyone. وأن وقف إطلاق النار يشمل أن يشمل الجميع. But also, he makes the point that let the Libyan people be given a chance to talk among themselves to solve their problems. And therefore, he says, "Let the people of Libya be given a chance to talk among themselves to solve their problems." And therefore, he says, "He's ready to implement the roadmap of the." Then, as the people of Libya are ready to implement the roadmap of Libya, they are ready to implement the roadmap of Libya, they are ready to implement the roadmap of Libya. Those are the highlights of what is happening. These 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 are the expressed his condemnation on the Crusader colonial aggression on the Great Jamahiriya, asserting that this aggression aims to assassinate the leader Muammar Gaddafi and dividing Libya. In his report, which was published yesterday in Guinea Equatoria, President Eudoro Biang added that NATO is no longer a part of a UN organization or to implement any UN resolutions, indicated that NATO is destroying the Libyan infrastructure and killing innocent people. The Forum for the Libyan Sheikhs and Notables has held its meeting in Tripoli last night. During the meeting, the participants expressed their thanks and gratitude to the African and Latin American continent to stand with the, with the Great Jamahiriya, warning on the visit that Sarkozy and Cameroon are intending to pay to Benghazi, and that Libya is not responsible on their security for anything which will happen during their visit to Benghazi. Military source has declared that military and civil residential areas in Tripoli City and Tajura were subjected to the Crusader colonial bombardment last night and led to the human and material losses. Other bombardments targeted areas of Al-Jufra and Al-Jufara to destroy Libyan infrastructures. It is worth to note that each rocket or bomb used by nature to destroy Libya and kill its innocent people cost $2 million and is paid by agent sheikhs of Qatar and Emirates. الله ومعمر وليبيا وبس الله ومعمر وليبيا وبس الو 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 يا جزيره ومعمر سلا عليك وبري شوفي غيره قولوا قولوا للجزيره قايدنا ما نبو غيره قولوا قولوا للجزيره قايدنا ما نبو غيره خطوا لوا خطوا لوا Rallies of the Libyan masses, men and women, continue their daily flowing to Babul Azia grounds in Tripoli.
to defend Lida and protect Babu Lazia by their bodies since 19th of last March. They also gathered to confront and condemn the crusader colonial aggression on their country. They sing and dance raising green banners and pictures of the leader of the revolution with high moral spirit. Meanwhile, the city in mass continue their steadfastness at Sirte Telecommunication Center in the frontline city of Sirte for the fifth consecutive week confronting the ongoing crusader colonial aggression on their country. They form a human shield to protect the strategic location achieved by the Great Al Fatah Revolution. Trainings on how to use weapons in different Libyan cities and regions continue to prepare leaders.